So in a previous video where I actually covered the 10 steps of the glycolytic pathway, I mentioned that I'd talk a little bit more about hexokinase and glucokinase later. So here I am kind of to discuss the similarities, differences, and the importance of these two enzymes. So hexokinase and glucokinase, we'll start by mentioning that they are isozymes. Iso meaning same, zymes referring for, to enzymes. Now they're not the same enzyme, but they both catalyze the same reaction, okay? So uh, they both catalyze the first reaction of glycolysis, which converts glucose into glucose 6-phosphate. So you can see that there with hexokinase and same over here with glucokinase. They both catalyze that reaction, okay? Um, so what's the deal? Well, let's start with lo the location. So hexokinase is located in all tissues, whereas glucokinase is in the liver and in pancreatic beta cells, okay? And that's actually important to its functional and its purpose, which we'll get to later. Now, one key difference is their KMs. Hexokinase has a lower KM, um, which means that it has a higher affinity for glucose, which is its its substrate, right? KM and, and, and substrate affinity are in, inversely related. Um, whereas glucokinase has a higher KM and thus a lower affinity for glucose. And that's actually important to, um, to what I have right here, basically shown in... Um, in uh, parentheses. So the fact that hexokinase has a lower KM and a higher affinity for glucose, it, it binds to glucose and, and catalyzes the reaction uh, even at lower substrate concentrations, which allows glucose 6-phosphate to be made even when glucose levels are low. Okay, so this reaction will happen even if, if uh, there's not a lot of glucose around. Okay, whereas glucokinase doesn't really do that. It has a higher uh, KM and a lower affinity for glucose, so it needs more glucose to be around to catalyze the reaction. So it only works when glucose levels are fairly high, um, like, for instance, after a carbohydrate-rich meal. Okay, and this is actually important to its function, which we'll get to momentarily, or its purpose, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, also, as far as their Vmax, hexokinase um, is has a lower Vmax. It doesn't um, work at, a, at, as, at as high uh, a maximal velocity, and then um, as glucokinase, glucokinase uh, catalyzes reactions faster. Now, as far as allosteric control, hexokinase is allosterically controlled. It's inhibited by the product glucose 6-phosphate. And so we can see that here. Um, G6P feeds back negatively on hexokinase um, and inhibits its activity. So if there's a buildup of glucose 6-phosphate in the cell, then um, hexokinase will, will basically... Um, decrease its activity, okay? Or glucose 6-phosphate will cause hexokinase to decrease that, its activity. Whereas that's not quite the case with glucokinase, there's there's uh, no allosteric control. However, there is hormonal control. There isn't any hormonal control of hexokinase, but there is hormonal control of glucokinase. Glucokinase is kind of, kind of works with and is associated with insulin. It's induced by insulin, and induced uh, refers to basically transcription. So, um, Glucokinase, uh, trans the transcription of the gene um, for a glucokinase uh, is induced by insulin. So insulin causes more glucokinase to be expressed. And that's kind of what I'm showing here. It induces expression of glucokinase. So when insulin is released, more glucokinase is made, and thus you'll have more glucokinase activity. 